I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. supposed to be. Are you well, sir? And call me Codsworth, if you please. You're looking good. For a robot that survived an atomic war. Thank you, sir. Oh my, but you look distraught. Oh, perhaps the missus can offer one of those hugs you humans are so fond of. Hmm? Speaking of which, where is your better half? I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? And just... Who is this Sean, anyway? Why, the, the missus had him last, remember? Oh, perhaps she's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure she'll be back with him momentarily. I don't understand what's going on. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Perhaps I can whip you up a snack if you must be famished. Uh, sure, I guess. Then I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to SC Gaming. Today we are playing more Fallout 4. Nice. Now, I didn't explain why in the pilot episode of the series. So I figured now would be a good time to interject as to why it is that I'm playing Fallout 4. Mr. It's not like it's ah, five years are, old sir. or anything and now, fallen to the wayside like my old channel. Well, to be, be quite hiding. honest, Fallout 4 oh, is one of those games that I have a, a very, very deep connection to. Codsworth, buddy. It's a I game that got me through a relatively difficult idea. time in my Let's life. The I all, logged sure, more than a week's worth of playtime. In the first two weeks that I had had it, All right. it was that much of an escape, and the way. during that I'll time I was serve, partly trying to figure out how I could make it run on my old Toshiba satellite laptop, which by the way I'm still, still unbelievably impressed by the fact that I could achieve at least 30 frames occasionally. I know that sounds weird to say, but... We're talking a laptop that had 512 megabytes of VRAM. It, it's no exaggeration to say there were iPads and iPhones more powerful within a few years of that laptop's release. But it's a game that I really wanted to both try to bring out an entertaining story from, and also a game that I genuinely enjoy playing. Thanks I think trying. it says That's something when I've up, played sir. The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, State of Decay, I have a rapport of games that I've played, but none of them have kept me coming back Thanks to it as help, much as Fallout. Which of course, on the note of it, uh, on the note of Bethesda games, there's also the consideration too that mods make these games with Sim Settlements 2 having just released not long ago. That's one that I, I dearly look forward to having as a future playthrough. Because it just seems like a fantastic idea. And the mod author and developer, fantastic fellow, on day one when there was an issue with uh, the Xbox release, 
he was right on it, responded, explained what was going on, and released a fix. So that is something that I support. And on that note, I figure since we're here, I may as well discuss some of the, uh, the mods that I, I've actually installed into this game. I'm sure it would come as no surprise that just trying to play through a vanilla Bethesda game isn't too appealing to someone who has played Bethesda games for a while now. So the first is the unofficial Fallout 4 hey patch, boy. which what are you doing out here all I by found yourself? out after the fact kind of shot myself in the foot because I'd learned about the Yao Guai roast bug. Okay then. And Let's I tried using it in a playthrough only to realize, oh, it actually does only last an hour. I'm not going to knock the unofficial Fallout 4 patch for it because it did exactly what it was supposed to do. But I wish I would have known that that would have fixed the bug that I actually wanted to take advantage of during a melee run through. Tales from the Commonwealth is the, the next up, kind of falling into that same category as Sim Settlements 2, in the sense that it adds this extra bit of value to areas and NPCs within the game that the base game just doesn't deliver on. I've had my fair share of issues with it before, I will tell you up front. There was a time where the very early on quest where you help the uh, the saints and sinners it bugged out on me and I couldn't continue it got it sort of stuck in this loop of I needed to talk to the head honcho but it wouldn't give me the quest marker to do it because it was telling me that I still needed to talk to Sadie but that I think may have actually been a, a bad install on my part so no knocking the, the mod for that, I still highly recommend it. Place Everywhere is another good one. That's actually how I was able to pull off setting up the bridge as it is. I don't know why, I've always felt this sort of extreme disgruntlement that Bethesda doesn't allow you to fix that bridge. I'm fine with the destruction, I'm fine with the decaying motif, but if this game has a building system, why not use the building system? Just a thought? And as the case with many, I'm also loaded up with a, an alternate start mod. I chose for my playthrough Start Me Up. It's one that I'm most familiar with and the one that's delivered the best experiences. I tried one other, but I'm forgetting its name. And that one didn't seem to have the same level of options. Initial beginning customization? Awkwardly worded. But Start Me Up has only ever delivered problems to me whenever I didn't immediately go to Vault 111 after starting up a playthrough. Otherwise, it's never failed me. I like it, it's straightforward, it's simple, not polished or perfect in some cases, as I'm sure you all probably know of the very, very infamous hard cut with the audio when talking to Codsworth. But still one that I do recommend. And on the note of Codsworth, who is a follower, a paper segue here. Amazing Followers Tweets is another one that I've come to find unbelievably helpful. It's not that I'm unskilled and I need a bunch of cannon fodder in front of me to not constantly end up face first or ragdolling onto the ground because someone has a minigun or a, a nuke launcher. But I like the idea of being able to have more than just one companion going along with me. I want to get Got their experiences and their reactions to certain things. I mean, just between you and me, how many people can truly choose that they just want to go on to a quest with Nick 
versus also having Kiri along or Piper or anyone else who has clever dialogue. And even though it seems like a uh, such a minute tweak, this mod I I mark it as a must-have. The lowered weapons mod. Simple, very, very, very small detail to the game. But in my playthroughs, just always having the gun pointed forward, I don't like it. Maybe it's because I'm stuck in the idea of the protagonist in the backstory Bethesda gave them being military. I get this idea that they shouldn't be just walking around pointing their gun at every single thing, even if the Commonwealth is a dangerous place. But, you know, maybe I'm just a weirdo, which when you turn up, you're probably dead. is true given that I'm sitting here in front of a microphone talking to nobody and uploading a video of me having played Fallout 4. That got too meta. Perfect. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Maybe? Glad to help. If that's true, <sighs> nope. we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Sorry. Sounds rough. God damn it. Thanks. It's good to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Uh, Those raiders proved uh, us wrong. That ain't it. But, well, we do have one idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a There's something off about Sturgis's goodie. ears. They look kind of kinda sideways. Power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Huh. Could work. It'll work, provided we can reactivate the suit. It's totally out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC, a standardized fusion core, your high-grade long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the nuclear damn thing. battery. Sounds it's more down in the basement, locked behind a dangerous than it does helpful. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. You Maybe all I'll are in luck. Turn it around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. I love how I get that I did technically volunteer for this, but awfully presumptuous of them that I'm going to follow through with it. I mean, to them, I'm just some random guy who walked in. They're hedging their bets on practically nothing. But they got lucky this time. So you know what it's time for, people. Time to kick some raider ass. Up here. But we got some. 
somebody up here! Yes, I got them. Where'd they go? Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people can get past my boys. I give you that! Still waiting, asshole! That, that almost did not work out for you, guy. Not have any uh, any grenades equipped. That will not work. Come on, I've got places to be. Oh, now y'all are scared, huh? That's what I thought. Okay. You know, this might be a better time. Not today, Dooley. Don't you be hurting dog meat. Oh my god, his tail is gone. Why did you think that would work, buddy? I am standing here in a giant metal suit of pure energy armor. I'm not Tin Man, I'm Iron Man. Okay. So that was a death claw, all right? Nice. I know when y'all got a uh, key around here, and I bet it was you, Mr. Mohawk. He looks very sad. Oh, that about takes care of them. Random body. A pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you are on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah. For a while anyway. We can at least move someplace safer. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well you did. And we owe you our lives. So here. It ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. I didn't do it for money. Hey, sorry. I'm not. I'm used to everyone being in it. Only super so, studied in you know, physics, but I'm pretty sure friends. that you gun should not me. have done what it just the did. Ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been, cause there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your destiny. Sure, whatever. You know, I always felt Even kind of bad need the sight to treating you Mama Murphy in a, a horrible way. Because yeah, she's she's absolutely blasted, but she is one of the only people in the Commonwealth offering to help. That's even if it is a general direction of where to go. 
time and it happens to be true. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. She's still the technically trying to help out. Picture. No, Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk, it's gonna kill oh, you. Shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her guard? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? it oh, hold on, hold on. Worse than Everybody just and I am taking this with me. Together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we can do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. This place is in, uh... Little state of disarray. But right behind you. You ever boss. get any uh any Wizard of Oz vibes from this whole situation? Like we're all just banding together and wandering to a place because someone said so. And we're following this road. And they got that means very turned around. Right here must be the old North Bridge, where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, boss. But I'm glad you're happy. Well, time to tell Cotsworth the combination good slash bad news. That's my signaling to him ahead of time that these people are good. There you are, Codsworth. Stop trying to clean up random people's devastated Welcome houses. Back, I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. You could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Concord. Sure, I can always use more cannon fodder. Word. Yes, of course. Right behind you, sir. Not to worry there, pup. And Your this is the biggest plus of hands. amazing followers tweaks because I can have all of the crew together at, in one. Well, actually, it's more so up to five, but same difference. All right. It's looking pretty optimistic for our crew. At least I think Preston and everyone's in a much better state than they were at the beginning of this whole thing. Excuse me. Hey, do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. Don't mention it. You guys have been through hell, huh? You have no idea. In these past few months, we've lost everything. My son, he's... He's gone. That's awful. No parent should have to lose their child. No. No, they shouldn't. I just keep thinking... I'm curious why it is that they went more. through the rings of... Anyway. Creating these again. characters all with a definitive backstory and everything. 
that plays a huge part in Preston's character, but after like a fetch quest here and there, they're just settlers and with names. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could this settle down This is the here. most awkward and creepy home. angle I could imagine. What do you think? Uh, sure, I guess. You've got to look past what it is to what it could be. We've got water, plenty of space. Should be pretty defensible. I can see it. Garden plots over there, some snug shelters. Hell, maybe even electricity. Do you really think that's possible? Yeah, I do. Not easy, not by a long shot, but it is possible. I've seen people come together to build a better world. That's what the men and men were all about before it all fell apart. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind. And it begins. But I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there, men and men out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? I'd be glad to help. He's, he's got his hand full, hands full Miniman, here? I'm sorry. Um, you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at Preston, all, what talk exactly do you do before... I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. I help you all build beds... <laughs> And plant plants and build defenses and assign people to said resources so we can produce them. And then you just decide after that you leave and are willing to come with me. What'd you find, boy? What'd you find? Skeleton? Dog meat, are you okay? This? Alright, I'll see what's in there, bud. And there's the golden spot. Yes! Good boy! Very good boy. I. Be stopped by a little thing like a lock, will we, sir? Mr. Rick, taking a trip down memory lane with that? Cosworth, I think you get more and more insane every day. Well, it's not a glorious living spot. But one day, it might just be a sanctuary. Roll credits.